All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome to our end of the market update for this Wednesday, May the 26th of 2021. Before I dive into these videos, I want to thank you all for subscribing, for listening to my videos, for allowing me to reach to 300 subscribers. As I mentioned yesterday, that was a goal that I had for the end of the month, and you guys were awesome enough to help me reach that goal in one day. So with with that gratitude, with that happiness that this video, the videos that I'm putting out are being heard there. And also, I'm hoping that there are of use to you guys and helpful to you guys, because essentially that is the mission that I have. <clears throat> um, I want you guys to understand that from the bottom of my heart, I do thank you. So I did say that if I reach the 300 mark on my subscription uh, for subscribers for my YouTube channel, I will let the um, the Discord open for a one week free trial. Now, due to the fact that I did that, you guys helped me get the 300 in one day. I've decided to do a 14 day free trial, a two week. So I'll leave it up for two weeks. Uh, anybody can join. Well, not I'm not gonna leave it up for two weeks. Uh, I'll leave it up for for however long I feel is right. But whoever joins is now on a 14 day free trial so you guys can come in join the group get our our elliot wave analysis for the spy for the cues if you want any individual names just request them we are excited to have you we're excited to get more people in our community is growing very quickly and also i've reached 302 subscribers so there you go guys thank you so much i really appreciate that all right so once again thank you thank you thank you i'm excited to keep on pumping these videos out for you uh any questions leave it down below in the comments um the link to the discord group is going to be on the description down below all right guys so yeah join up uh two week trial if you like it i hope that you do you stay in uh we'll help you guys through these markets uh recently it's been choppy and so speaking of choppiness all right we have been trending sorry we have been sort of moving sideways in non-directional format okay now before i dive into the full analysis that we normally do i want you guys to take a look at something patterns right patterns in in charts always display over time okay and we as traders or investors or uh retail investors i'd rather we have to analyze them and start to sort of put the clues together right put one and two two and two together whatever the the term is but what i'm trying to say is this so if you guys take a look okay right now what do we have here we have what appears to be a w shape pattern right where else on the chart can you spot that same pattern or something similar i could give you a big one right now this one okay and what happened when we broke out from the previous high okay we didn't even do a double bottom here from when we broke out of the highs we went on higher okay over here when we broke above this high we left and that thing that's pretty much it i don't think this counts as a w shape that's more like an m if you will but you get the point so what do i say by that what do i mean by this is this one two a third time is a charm and we keep on going higher or a third time is a charm and we're just gonna crash now okay now that is yet to be determined but when patterns do display over time and they start establishing this recognition then we start analyzing okay well i'm not the only one understanding these patterns i'm not the only one spotting these there's hundreds and millions of other traders out there that are also spotting these so when the crowd or the mob as they say come into uh follow the herd i or, yeah i think that's the term or whatever it is you get my point when they start spotting these trends right then it's it's more likely that it's going to continue in the pre as, as history repeating itself so when we broke this high over here okay this high here we kept on going higher now let's take a look if that's what the case is here on our wave uh, on our structure at the point at the current moment kind of is right so we go down found the base go up we broke this high as you can see here we're holding it as support and now we're going to go on higher so normally w shape right we'll go something like this actually let's do either like that it across actually let's let's do this here it across this line of resistance or support 
okay once it finds once it breaks out once it breaks out it'll retest it and then sh uh, shoot on higher potentially that's what's happening here right guys potentially that's what we're seeing that we see that w shape recovery okay we broke above the previous high we're now test back testing it to then find support and then head on higher now if that's the case then then we will know sh uh, relatively soon however we can't just rely on those things we have to also be more uh objective not subjective but objective and try to understand what the direction of the trend is what the market sentiment is and what most importantly what our wave structure is telling us and with that we have to always be cautious and we also have to be very very careful okay especially in the fifth waves of the of uh yeah especially in the fifth waves with fifth waves can also can always display they're very they're, they're good they're, they, they can be profitable but but as you can see now they, they are a little tricky at the time so all right now this whole wave structure remains valid just as long as we remain north of 398 spot of five <coughs> excuse me uh we're still looking for the primary degree wave one to complete so intermediate wave degree uh, five and minor degree wave five have been our upside targets at 454 and 444 at that point this will complete this whole entire suck uh structure i was going to say substructure but this whole structure from the mate from the COVID lows okay once we go up uh and we complete this then expect the primary degree wave two to unfold Okay, once that primary degree wave two unfolds, I expect that to be throughout the entire summer months uh, trading session. So, all right, now taking you down to the one hour time frame, let's dissect, further dissect this interpretation here. Okay, so from the March lows here of 2021, we'll go up in one, down into 50% support, <clears throat> five ways up in three, and now we're here meandering down into the wave four. Okay, now what's going on here is as, ex as I explained, a w shape we didn't break the lows nor did a double bottom but we broke above this high and we're holding it as support so perhaps back testing it to them head on higher so how does this work with our old overall wave structure okay now let's take us down to the 30 minute time frame where we could potentially dissect this so as of now we are understanding the fact that we see five waves here okay so from this third wave high we went down in five we went down into wave a three waves up in b so far, that's what we have. That's the evidence that we have. Now, what is going to happen? We could only for, uh, forecast it, right? So we still have this high, the 1272, only because we briefly broke above the 78.6, 419 spot 11. When wave Bs, sorry, when wave Bs break above those levels, okay, normally that opens up the door for a 1272 extension. And that's that That in its own is can be beneficial, but also very tricky because you, you, you just stay too long on this correction and we don't want that we want this correction to quickly unfold so that we can get on our way to our impulse structure where we can be uh, where we can be profitable okay now as I mentioned in my video yesterday if wave 4 had finished here or even here then this is the makings of the wave 5 okay but we will know relatively soon but I don't think that's the case or perhaps it is who knows we'll see so wave 1 2 3 4 and 5 now this is what I'm looking for. Actually, yeah, my as I <laughs> let me just backtrack this for a second. I do want this thing to be over. Right? I do want the wave four correction, which would have came in at the 50% retracement of the overall wave three advance versus wave two. Now, if this is the start of the new impulse or the continuation into the wave five, then what we need to see is the following. All right, five waves have been completed. Now we're looking for wave A, B, and C to complete down at the 38% retracement. Ideally, we want this level of support to hold. So perhaps what we see coming into tomorrow or next week is that we hold support, okay? We make a very brief retracement. We'll hold the 23.6% re uh, retracement of this overall, uh, well, sorry, of this overall structure or wave advance. That's 416.95, and then we head on higher, okay? Now, let's review levels. Let's zoom in. The levels that we're looking for are the following guys okay in order for us to maintain this support we got to stay above uh 417 spot 47 okay that'll mean that's the that's the low of wave uh, a b and then that'll be c so perhaps this will be 100 percent let's take a look 
if we take an extension okay not entirely but the 100% extension just falls right below it and that's fine okay and as you can see here is in confluence with the 23% let me just take this out for a second is in confluence with the 23% retracement of this overall wave advance so that that's sort of a good FIB confluence or FIB clustering that we see here. The 100% extension of wave A versus wave uh, B gives you 416. The 23% retracement of this overall wave structure gives you 416.97. So I'm actually, it's, it's looking positive for that particular interpretation. All right, so 416, 417, and 418. If we hold those three levels coming into tomorrow, as you can see, that's kind of like a strong support at the moment. If we hold that, that level here, then we can expect to head on higher and that will confirm that w shape pattern that we just spoke about okay so that's our our first um sort of game plan okay now should we head on lower our secondary support level will be the 38.2 at 414 spot 76 okay and if that holds support then fine we can still head on higher which still plays out in the overall pattern right uh, the overall pattern still stated that we go up in W, right? We back test it and then we head on higher. Now, this is all good fun and games when it's all bullish and we all have our long positions and we just can't wait to see new highs. But we always have to be very, very um, objective and we can't let our emotions dictate what we do next, but we have to play with what we have. And these are facts and these are evidence of what we can determine. Now, should this whole thing fail, then this will become an expanded flat. OK, and then we're going to head on lower into the 100 percent extension, which is a level that I've been mentioning very, very, very heavily on this on, the, on our videos. So the 100, the 618 and the 50, all of these three levels will become a level of support for our next leg lower. If we start seeing heavy volume and an impulsive structure in the wave C, because wave Cs are usually made up of five waves, then we will know relatively soon, guys, relatively soon. So just be patient. Now, to become further bad news or, or, or bearer of bad news, I get it? All right, so if we break below the most hold level at 398 spot of five, then our um, interpretation will suggest that we are within an expanding flat sorry an expanding triangle okay and so one two three so remember on the expanding triangle waves impulsive waves can overlap that is allowed okay that is allowed per the early wave guidelines and so when those guidelines are met usually this is still valid because wave fives will trade in this man in this fashion so we will see those five waves or three waves pull back obviously okay into the wave four support that comes in anywhere between the 1618 or the 100 a range between four three and 392 all right guys so i hope that was clear game plan coming into tomorrow and next week i mean this is this let's let's keep this in the back of our pocket until we start reaching these levels then we'll start worrying about this but for now let's let, let's just stay focused on this one so again this whole zone of FIB clustering and support levels is our priority to keep and to hold. So once again, 417, 416, and 419 are a must hold. Should that fail, 414 is our next level of defense for the bulls to take control. All right, guys. So let's jump over to the cues. Our cues, it's just working out how we've been planning it, how we've been mapping it. So this is the beauty of Ellie Wave theory we when we map them correctly respecting all guidelines and rules you get the best results always remember that so we are interpreting this as a triangle okay and so should the spy head on higher i think that the cues will follow so we've been holding the 618 uh the 618 level as support which comes in at 333 spot 56 anything below that okay if we fail we'll come down at the 331 Next level of support comes in at 326, but I'm looking at this as a positive fashion. So three, so once we hold support, maybe a brief pullback. So A, B, and C, then we head on higher. So remember, three ways in D. So one, two, we've already completed the first, the first two, um, one, two, three. So the first two waves, and now we're looking for the third one or A, B, C for the C, for the C wave to take us up to the D, to the D wave. Once we complete D wave. 
or wave D rather, three ways down. Okay, that is our game plan for the cues. Now, the alternate interpretation for the cues states that, just like in the uh, S and P, okay, we're still looking for this expanding volatility. So <laughs> I keep on saying expanding volatility. This expanding triangle. Okay, so wave one, two, three, down in four to the one hundred percent, three or three. Um, that will be wave C. So it's still valid, right? Because we have from the wave three, we have A, B, we're looking for the third wave. So perhaps this was already, you know, wave A, we're making, when they're making some wave C. So let's take a look where this will fall. Okay. So if, if we have anything between the 50 or the 78.6, then we should be getting a little concerned. Let's take a look. Because remember, wave B is always retrace between the 50 and the 76.8%. Uh, so, 78.6 and let's take a look at the 50 uh, all right so here we go so I'm, I'm scratching my head as I look at this because uh, I'm, I'm doing this on the fly as I'm talking to you guys so look okay if we break above these levels okay those see that this is a key level to hold down I'm getting a little concerned if this plays out we find resistance and fall then expect the spy to do the same so 78.6 comes in at 333, sorry, 336, spot 73, and the 50, which we broke above and found support, comes at 329. So this is a key level to respect and to try to see if we break above it coming into tomorrow or end of week or the following week. All right, guys, so there you have it. So we went through a couple interpretations. We have our game plan. We have our analysis. If you have any questions about it, uh, don't hesitate to uh, leave a comment down below. I always love engaging with you guys, and I love that you guys are, are engaging with, with the videos. Also, as I mentioned earlier in the video, I thank you again for reaching my goal in one day. Okay, I was expecting this in one week, but in one day. So as a thank you to you guys, uh, I've do, instead of doing the one-week trial, I'm doing the two-week trial. Okay, join. Stay here for two weeks. You'll be, I'm sure you'll love it. Uh, read the descriptions here, uh, what you take out, what, what you will get from our services. And uh, yeah. If you have any questions about it, just shoot me a, a message on uh, here in, on, on YouTube, and I'll make sure to get back to you. So as always, I do appreciate your time. Thank you again for, for listening. Thank you again for the thumbs up, for the uh, subscriptions, and I shall see you guys tomorrow. The description, the, the link to the Discord group is down in the description. All right, guys, so take care. Bye-bye.